Ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three three-minute rounds for the Amateur Featherweight Championship. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing NR Fight. He is the reigning, defending Cage Warriors Academy Featherweight Champion, Benoit Prehens. And his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 145 pounds. Representing TSG, Tommy Brunning. Featherweight title time then as Benoit Prigent defends his belt. 10 and 0, fighting out of NR Fight with the all black shorts facing Tommy Brunning, who's stepping up. He is the bantamweight champ, stepping up to try and be a champ champ here tonight. He's 4 and 0 in those black and white Venom shorts. Neither guy's tasted defeat. Really good match up here. Cage Warriors Academy in Colchester. Mark Heath, Nick Albert with you. And with Benoit, you know what you're going to get. He's good literally everywhere. Of those 10 wins, he has one submission, nine decisions. He's very much a grinder and a grappler, pressure fighter. But he does have a very dangerous hard right hand. Just so good at control. Yeah. And he stays so calm and composed. And Tommy Brunning, of course, will be expecting this. He says this is his natural weight. He says he's already the bantamweight champion. And training over at All Stars in Sweden, that top tier gym we've had a few fighters from this evening. He himself is a very good grappler, loves a rear naked choke. Big takedowns as well. As you see a fight for position in the early going. Early hand fighting to see who can get the better position. Oh, good job by Harry. Tommy Brunning then maybe landing the first telling shot of the fight. Southpaw striker, nice. Wow. That inside leg kick we've been talking about in this matchup. Tommy Brunning. He's putting it together and he's starting to get confident. Yeah, he did say he's been working on his striking. He wants to show he's striking a bit more. Tommy's big thing here is keeping his back off the cage. This may be his natural body weight, but that doesn't mean he's as heavy. <laughs> We saw Tommy twice beat Harry Myers. Won the belt and then defended against him before he stepped up to this fight. And just a bit picture from Benoit. This is the pressure he brings. Nice knee. And Tommy's fighting to get that inside head Looking for the knee with a shoulder shoulder strike there from Benoit Prigent furious throw to end the round we've seen him fight back from adversary duty as well but he tends to as he gets more and more success, he grows more and more confident. And then that striking gets that much cleaner and crisper. And while Pajon not content not to trade hands though, he's looking to throw big punches as well. Tommy in on a double with both hands locked, able to get Benoit down. Big take down there from Tommy, big teams running. You say maybe growing in confidence, Nick. Exactly. Benoit looking to get back to full guard. Tommy looking to get past that leg. Benoit's using that to try to stand up. Benoit's going two on one. Nice knees up yeah. the center. Putting him into him, tie style.
The one's gonna need to get a little bit lower if he's gonna try that lift. But again with those shoulder strikes. Tommy looking to block that neck. Does a good job. Feels like a battle of wills. Oh, 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 oh what oh, happened oh. there? He went over. He rolled his ankle. Yeah. Oh, I hope that's okay. He's rolled over on his ankle. His back standing. His base seems to be beneath him. Well, he's just bit down on his gum shield. He's trying to go forward. That foot's still not. Well, he's throwing kicks with yeah. it, so it must be back. Just a quick twist, I guess, but. Thank God. We'd hate to see another freak end into a fight that like we've just seen in the heavyweight title contest. Tommy looking to get in on that single. Benoit doing a good job of controlling that head. Twenty seconds left. Then why heavy on that single? Tommy really working for this takedown. Benoit's done well with that shoulders and then those knees up the center, but I'd like to see him try and defend this takedown a little bit better by pushing off of the cage. Superb. Nick Albert rendered mute by profanity in the songs here. Third round. Title on the line here in the featherweight division. Whoa. Tommy Bronning trying to make it a champ champ. Add this belt to his bantamweight belt. Benoit Prejean trying to defend it. And as I said it in between rounds, I'm looking for Benoit to try to figure out a way to get off that cage a little bit better when defending the takedowns. He's done it now so far. But Tommy is relentless. It's an inside leg kick again. Really well matched fight this. Yes, and this is where Benoit needs to move. Oh, another cut. Accidental headbutt. Good knees to the body by Benoit. Yeah, he's added a few of those, hasn't he? And he's the one bleeding. Oi. Nice right hand as well there from Benoit. Tommy's. Again, those knees landing and that uppercut. Benoit's really trying to pour it on now. And this is what I said in between rounds Benoit needed to do. Tommy's not backing up though, just staying right in the center and eats a nasty uppercut. He's just walking forward though. Yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more head movement. Say so Benoit does not have a KO on his record. Nice, nice uppercut, uppercut there from Brunning. Good striking from both guys. A minute left then, beside the destination of this belt. <laughs> Benoit with the uppercuts. Putting Bronning onto him and then uppercutting. Tommy in on that shot, nice and deep. And here's where I'd like to see Benoit get up off the cage. Tommy's hands are locked. He's broke that lock now. Use this to circle away. Get back to striking because he was having success this round with the striking. He's gonna do that. Nice knee down the center again. He's and using again. That tie clinch to land those knees really well and also using the tie to, to land some uppercuts pulling him towards him like that hold the back of the head pull him onto the punches that's true dirty boxing right there nice right hand as well tommy's just bite down on his gum shield and move forward Oy. fantastic end of the fight for these good two. fight good fight as it should be 
for the belt here at K-Joys Academy 32. Good action there in that final round. Benoit left hook there from Brunning. And that one had Tommy. Tommy had uh, Benoit a little bit wobbled. Yep. That was a big right hand that. And that was after those knees right up the center. Okay. Ricky Wright's heading to the case. Let's find out who's won. Does Prejean defend his belt or is Bronning a champ champ? We're about to find out. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three have the belt 29 28 for you win a by unanimous decision. And now your cage warriors, amateur featherweight champion in the red corner, Tommy Burhanning. How can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. 